I'd like to thank the good folks over at PCB Way for sponsoring this video. PCB Way is your one-stop shop offering a fully featured PCB prototyping service with low cost and fast turnaround times. Along with that, they also offer CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding, and many more services. PCB prototyping the fast and easy way. Thank you again, PCB Way, for sponsoring this video. All right, so I have the four pole old but new, uh, I don't know what kind of rotor you call it, sling rotor. There's the two pole. This is the four pole. And there's the back EMF off of the sky circuit. If I click that on, uh, I got to fix that. I actually have two back EMFs. I have two outlets for back EMF. Right now, I'm just having it under one. And that's, of course, running off of the hall circuit. It's running pretty good, too. Yeah, it's running pretty good. A lot faster than the two prong, but that's to be expected. All right, I got a few more circuits I want to try, so let's try these out. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm trying different circuits and different coils. So this is a monster coil that I got from Sky. It's got a run side and a pickup side. And I'm using the dual JL94 circuit at 12 volts, and it's running really well. A lot of back EMF spiking like crazy, even lighting the um, the neon bulb, even though it shouldn't be getting. But this is a, a big coil. It's got a lot of turns. I don't know what the ohms are, but it's running really well. waiting for my new camera to arrive. I think I told you guys yesterday I bought a piece of crap off of Amazon and promptly returned it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll just have to make do with my Samsung. Nice. All right, stay tuned. All right, so I got the K-Energy circuit on there. It's going really well. I don't have any output. I'm not sure why. Maybe I think I might have blown the bulb. Everything's remaining nice and cool. But yeah, it's working with the K Energy circuit and one of my homemade uh, dual coils by Filer. All right, let's move on to the opto circuit. I think I've done enough with this guy. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm trying out some different um, opto blades, if you will. I've got one that looks like this, one that like this. This one I tried didn't work. This one's really thin, and it seems to work. I have it set so that the poles are like this and the opto blade is like that when it goes through i have it coming out oh this is k energy circuit by the way works really good um obviously not that fast because the blade itself is really small here let me show you but that's a cool circuit this is the first time i've ever played with an opto circuit, an optical circuit. So you can see it's a really small blade. And if I turn it on, oh, it doesn't like going that way. Yeah, it goes the other way. And if I put the blade facing in the other direction with the pole the other way, it would come this way. Well, you guys know what I mean. 
But yeah, that's kind of cool. There's the Opto circuit. He sells them on his site. Redesign 3DP also sells circuits. I have one of his. Oh, and I also have, let me turn this off. I wanted to show this too. I also got this cool little thing. This thing is awesome. He, so Redesign 3DP sells these. It is a um, voltage tester for DC up to like 30 volts, but it works really good. I'll show it in a, I'll show it actually working in a little while. I forgot to do that. Well, let me turn this guy back on. So this is at 12 volts. And it's not going that fast because of the size of the blade. So I'm going to change out the different blades. I'm going to try this one next. This one I tried didn't work because it's got two, two ends. And the two ends don't work. At least not the way I have this Newman motor set up. This is my big one. So here's my hand. It's pretty big. Wound the coils by hand. Came out really nice. I have this set up in a uh, series connection. So here's the um, start finish. I mean the start of the winding, the end of the winding, start of the winding, end of the winding. I have it jumped over. So it's not set up like a normal Newman configuration, but it works really well. Let me turn this off and put on a different um, blade. I'm going to try this one next. So as I suspected, the wider one works better than the thin one. Getting a quicker pulse. I'm going to try the bigger one now. I really like this opto circuit. It's such a simple concept. That's the new the new rotor. All right, let me try the wider one. Stay tuned. And as I suspected, the wider one is even better. But I have to shave it down. I can't, as you can see, it's not directly parallel with the circuit itself because it's too big. But it's working good. I really like this. I have a lot of ideas for this. So thank you, K-Energy. Those things are cool. Yeah. Sorry, I was just thinking of different setups I can do. All right, let me see what else I can do here. Stay tuned. I got it really going now just by changing the position. Yeah, that's flying now. I, I promised myself I wasn't going to say that word anymore, flying. Because it's not flying. It's going really well. You can tell by the output. You can probably just tell just by looking at it and hearing it. But yeah. Now she's going really well. That light is really bright, too. All right, let's see what else I can do with this opto circuit. I wanted to put it on that guy there, but I got to set up a, a, a longer shaft. Stay tuned. So I wanted to try out another one of K Energy's circuit. This is his hall sensor circuit. And I just have the, there's the hall sensor just on the outside of the new motor because the magnetic field is so powerful it can trigger it out there. And it's going pretty good. These are some nice circuits. Really well made. And I only have it at 12 volts right now if I cranked it up. 
And what's cool about this little circuit, it has this little circuit board on here. And there's a little LED that triggers. Oops, turned it around. Come on. Stay right there. There you go. Now she's going good. But you can see the reflection of the LED. That lets me know when the um, hall sensor is being triggered by the South Pole. Going good. Not flying, just going good. <laughs> and you can see the magnetic field is messing with this little guy over here. Yeah, she's moving now. Yeah, so I wanted to try out. This is the first time I tried out this circuit, I think. And on this circuit, there's a switch here for a pulse width modulator. I hook it into here, and I can then control the speed. And I have one around here. I don't know where it is. I've got to find it so I can hook this circuit up properly. All right, stay tuned. So I really like this uh, hall circuit. Getting really good output. That's one of the coils that I wound by hand. It's a nice coil. And that's a VCR bearing. It's going pretty good. Let me stop this guy so you can see what it looks like. It's just a disc that has these little weird um, rectangular small neo magnets. I had a bunch of them. I didn't know what to do with it, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's a self-starter too, which is kind of cool. Takes a while for it to get up to speed. I bet you it would work better if I put the um because I have a an iron core that I can slide in there. Really quiet, huh? You can kind of see the LED. It's basically on completely because it's being pulsed so many times. All right, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching.